Hello and welcome to our channel. We're here to entertain you with some boss movie reactions. Let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome to Boss Movie Reactions. We're happy you're here and sorry we didn't release a video last Saturday but we're busy again with Film Festival, right? Yes, uh, I was spending pretty much every day at the Film Festival, uh, Silicon Beach Film Festival. So we just did not have time, unfortunately, so sorry. Yeah. yeah and tonight is the award show so yes. that's going to be interesting the so. closing night you know so but uh, we decided to now watch a movie but before we get to that we have a few housekeeping things first i want to thank heather tucker for becoming the latest patreon supporter thank you Yay, so much heather. i know we had a shout out for you in the past but you're back so thanks for your support Aww. and then you can read that first quote there so uh, Ron Stout says, I love your reactions. <laughs> Every time I have a bad day, I can watch one of your reactions and I instantly have a better day. Keep up the great work. Oh. I'm so, that's awesome. Like, I'm super inspired and encouraged. So, thank you so much. Yeah, that is great. Make somebody else stay yeah. better just by our reaction. So, that's awesome. Then we have John A. 2979 he says best reactors of youtube you guys are amazing and clearly have a special chemistry and genuineness oh my gosh that's so cute thank I you john that. thank you so much thank you and then apparently i pronounced somebody's uh, name wrong oh it no. was probably because i'm a foreigner i don't know how to pronounce <laughs> things sometimes so this guy said guys it's not cherry it's cherry thanks so maybe you can tell me how you pronounce that correctly. well it's not Cherry, it's Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. J Jerry. With like a J. Tom and Jerry. That's what I tried to say. But Do you say Cherry? I said Cherry, like Tom and Cherry. Oh, it's because, no, it's just that your Jerry, accent. Right? Yeah, your accent puts a little CH on the right. J. Yeah, that's exactly it's kinda, right. It's kind of like when whenever you have a, some, you see a word with a W, you tend to pronounce it with a V. Yeah. Because it's Falve. If I don't think about it, yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm getting better, so I hope Jerry, Sorry, Jerry. makes up for it. And then the last one before we get started, I came across this um, a few days ago. It's from EF7771, and he somehow had a red box around his comet. And I thought, hmm, oh. how did he do that? And then why did he choose this $100 icon? So I didn't really understand it. And then three days later, it dawned on me. This is the very first super things oh. so this guy gave us a honda box whoa yeah. and he says Thank you mike and jessica i became a new subscriber a couple of days back oh. love the reactions and love you both much love health and happiness to to you both and thank you for the wonderful reactions and the wonderful afterthoughts by mike so thank you so much and this guy i looked him up he's actually part of a rock band called kellen heller Oh, and it's cool. a hard rock band from Greenville, South Carolina. And I, I listen to some of the songs and they really rock. So thank you so much for this very generous support. Yes. We appreciate it. Yes. Woohoo. Rock on. And the <laughs> rock, rock on Rocky. So very good. Oh. Yes. So today we're finally going to watch Rocky. And I know the Terminator won the poll and we will i promise we'll watch terminator as well but how could you say no to this one here she wanted to watch rocky first and i thought how could you say no to that right? <laughs> so we're going to watch rocky so what's your rocky story like situation um well i went to philadelphia one time uh -huh. my sister used to live in philly and so we walked on the steps like there's that i guess the famous Liberty Bell and the famous steps and everything. The steps she runs, I saw and those people clips. Kept yeah. telling me, oh yeah, this is from Rocky. <laughs> and so, I, you know, I I was too embarrassed to say, oh, I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> so I was just smiling like, oh yeah. Yeah. But finally, you know, because it's a commitment. I think there's like six or six seven of them. them. That's right. Yeah. And the first time I heard about Rocky, I was living in Switzerland, didn't know what Rocky was, but I remember when Rocky four came out 1985 i was just starting my my civil engineer draftsman apprenticeship 
the FBAU Zeichner, and people were talking about Rocky IV. Rocky is fighting this huge Russian guy, and I was like, wow, that sounds exciting. And I wanted to watch it, but my friend said, well, you gotta watch Rocky first, and then the second mm -hmm. one, and then the third one. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I never came to, I never watched, you know. And then oh, yeah. when I had the chance to watch Rocky III, I thought, no, I'm gonna wait with that because I gotta watch Rocky first. And it yes. never happened. I'm so excited about this. I know clips and stuff, of course. I know what Rocky's all about, but man, I'm excited. So well, Yeah, and you can't, I mean, I'm sorry, but if you, like, I cannot watch Rocky three first. You no, that's what I mean, yeah. Rocky one. Exactly, like, and tonight So is now tonight. we're gonna do it. So, yes. whoa, that's gonna be like six hours worth of movie. Well, no yeah, more. More, more, yeah, it's more like, like almost eight, eight hours. hours. Yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you're in it with us. <laughs> Let's just hope they're good, you know, so... Uh, but, well, uh, they, they made so many of yeah, them, I, yeah, they yeah. should be, hopefully. Well, okay, so here we go. I'm excited. Rocky, three, two, one, ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's the famous, famous song. Yeah. Oh, sounds different, though. 1975? Yeah. Oh, it's Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Jesus in the boxing room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> People are booing. <laughs> Why? Because they were hogging. Oh. They just want non-stop booing. Mm -hmm, of course. <laughs> Oh! Headbutt. Is that legal? No. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh! That's not legal either. <laughs> what are they throwing in there? Like trash? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this seems to be some kind of underground boxing event. Man, that was gnarly. You want to smoke <laughs> after you just fought? You're a bum. You know that? You're a bum. You're, you're a bum. <laughs> you're a bum. <laughs> That's what they call washed up boxers. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Bob Bowie, you get winner share. $65. Less $15. Locker and corner man. $5 shower and towel and 7% tax. Come wow. Back. Forty fifty bucks. Wow. When do I fight again? Forty bucks. Maybe two weeks. Forty bucks. And he's charging for a shower. Man, thieves. Mm -hmm. Well, he's in good spirits. He's with <gasps> oh. oh, those are twins. They're like, get me out of here. Get us out of here. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. Harmonizing. Nice way to introduce in the street life of Philadelphia. Ooh, here are some animals. A dump. Hey, your old man did pretty good tonight. Why weren't you there, huh? You should have seen me. You guys hungry? No. What are they? Turtles? Here you go. Yeah, maybe. Here you go. You want to see your friend Moby Dick, huh? Eh? Here you go. Say hi. You know, if you guys could sing or dance, I wouldn't be doing this, you know? Hmm. <laughs> well, he has a good sense of humor. Aw. You're a nice little boy. I guess so. I wonder if that's really him, like a picture of him. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but it makes him upset. Maybe he wants to be more... Unhappy with how his life turned Yes, out. exactly. Mm -hmm. Back at the pet store. Aw, he likes animals. That's sweet. How you feeling this morning, huh? Full of life. Yeah, you're doing good. He's more, they get caught in the turtle's throat right about here in his cough, right? I gotta smack him on the back of the show. What do you think they get? Huh? And they get what? Huh? Show shot. They get show shot. What do you think? 
Hey, Why are they so mean to him? You fucking. Oh. Oh. Interested in him. I like his fedora, the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you running? Where are you hey! going? Are you serious? Hey! Oh, I thought he was joking. Mr. Gazzo says I should get the 200 or break your thumb. You understand? Please. Huh? You want to borrow, you got to pay the man. It's 130, yeah. You're still $70 late. You don't have to break nothing. Here, take my coat. Go, take the coat. You know, you should have planned ahead. You know that? You should have no, planned ahead. Who's faking? God, don't want me to watch you. Nothing keep the code. <laughs> you only had 130, but I think he's good for the rest next week, Mr. Gasol. Sure, Rocky. Bob's good for it. I like his swag. That he has. But he's working for this spooky guy. Mm-hmm. How come you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you? When you don't do what I tell you to do, you make me look bad, right? I figure, look, if I break the guy's thumb, he gets laid off, right? He can't make Yeah, well, don't figure it. Let me do the figuring, OK, Rock? From here on, just let me do the figuring. These guys Good point, though. Kind of it really is. So from here on in, do what I tell you to do, because it's bad for my reputation. You understand? You got, you got it, Rock? <laughs> I got it. He's not that kind of guy. So long, meatbag. I should have broke your thumb! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's like a playful animal, almost, by him always playing with this ball. That's a good characterization. Tough guy, but soft on the inside. Hey, Ruff, heard you did real good last night. Absolutely, should have seen me. He doesn't remember his password? No, the number. Oh, no! Hey, yo, Mike. Where's my lock? Whose stuff is this in my lock? Stepper stuff. It ain't your locker no more. Oh. What about ain't my lock? It's been my locker for six years. Where's my gear? Mickey told me to bag it and hang it. Oh, no. They're kicking him out. Where is it? He's outside working with Dipper. He's in a bad mood. Oh, mm -hmm. my. So is he now. Two bad moods are going to meet. Darn! The hell, what do you want? How are you feeling today? What's your problem? I want to know how come I've been put out of my lock. Because Dipper needed it. Dipper's a contender. You know what you are? What? A tomato. Did you fight last night? Yeah. Yeah, who'd you fight? Spider Rico. <laughs> He's a bum. You think everybody I fight is a bum? Well, ain't they? You got heart, but you fight like a goddamn ape. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Yeah. All right, time. Not very encouraging words. Huh? No. He's going to be pissed. Back to the pet store. <laughs> Want to go to the basketball game? Oh, that's why he goes in often. Tough day today, you know? They took my locker away. Huh? Doesn't matter, who cares? You know? Hey, bird. Hey, look who's here. The giant worm. <laughs> all right, listen, I'm going to go now, OK? Listen, I'll see you later, all right? I want to go home, make up a joke. I'm going to tell you a new joke tomorrow, OK? Good night, Adrian. Good night, buddy. It's quite a chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> he likes her, and she could not be any more shy. <laughs> but she likes him, the way she looks at him. You see Bully? Yeah, he's in the steam room. Yeah. Hey, Ruff, who'd you fight? Spider Rico. Hey. Is he still around? Hey, Bully, what are you talking for? <laughs> hey, yo, Bully. Every day, every night, I pass by you. This is giving me the shoulder, you know what I mean? Forget that. I need a Cadillac to connect with your sister. Something wrong with my face, you know what I mean? <laughs> She's a freaking loser. Hey, 
Well, you caught me in a bad mood. You're always in a bad mood. Adrian is a loser. Hey. She's pushing 30 freaking years old. And if you don't watch out, she's going to end up dying alone. Oh, my gosh. I'm 30 myself. And you're going to end up dying alone. Hey, I don't see no crowd <laughs> around you, need. Come on, let's get out of the state, would you? Come on. They're all in a bad mood. <laughs> Everyone's in a bad mood. You know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, you know that? Right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you come over and talk to her? Sure. I gotta go. From 10 minutes late, she calls the house. You know, it's here in Philadelphia it's a date. at the fabulous spectrum. A gala occurrence with me beating green like he committed a crime. Yeah, we got today in Jig Clowns. Wow. Okay. You call Apollo Creed a clown? Do you have any quick advice for young boxing? Stay in school and use your brain. Sports make you grunt and smell. See, be a thinker, not a stinker. <laughs> Thanks a lot, champ. Well, he took his best shot and become champ. Huh? What shot did you ever take? Well, I guess hey, Rocky, money, you're not happy with Santa your life. Record, it's nice. Like Santa, hey, I got a business record. going there. I don't have to take no shots. Dale, took that up your business. You're so insulted. Want me to take a shot? All right. <laughs> take a shot. Hey, Rocky, how about a bottle, huh? No wine. Come on. Just no a little wine. Come on. Hey, Rocky, did your brother know you're hanging out so late? Oh, you guys, hey, 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 these guys teach you to talk like that. Hey, don't you never say that. Dang. You know, when I was your age, there was only one girl in the whole neighborhood that talked like that. You know what I mean? What are you doing? I'll make your breath like garbage. Make your eyes like garbage. Come on, nobody likes garbage. Anyway, this girl with the dirty mouth, she wasn't bad looking, but you see, none of the guys ever took her serious, you see? They never took her out for any serious date. Why? Because that's the way guys are. They laugh when you talk dirty, they think you're cute. But after a while, you get a reputation, that's it. You get no respect, you understand? You get no respect. I gotta use a bad word. Whore, you understand? Whore. Giving her some wisdom. 20 years from now, 20 years from now, people are gonna say, hey, do you remember Marie? No, who's she? Uh, She's a little whore that hung down the atomic hoagie shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember her. You Dang. see, they don't remember you. They remember the rep. You understand? What were they going to say? You hope I don't keep acting like a whore. I'll turn into one, right? Yeah, something like that. Good night, Rocky. Good night, Marie. Take care, you know? Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess that speech didn't do so much. Didn't, didn't, <laughs> didn't do anything for her. Yeah, who are you to give advice, Creepo? Huh? Who are you? Well, it's nice of him to at least try because she'll remember that, you know, it will get planted in the brain. Are oh, the doctor's reports confirmed? Definitely. It says here, Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Now, you better find me another rank contender, and I mean in flash jerkins. I get hold of every worthwhile contender, and they all say the same thing. Five weeks just isn't enough time to get into shape. Oh, shape nothing, man. They're afraid. They're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped in front of the whole civilized world. But I don't know what the hell else to do. I do. This is the land of opportunity, right? So Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. And I'll tell you why because I'm sentimental. And a lot of other people in this country are just as sentimental, and there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. That's the way I see it. Some good marketing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he gets the opportunity. Who's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? Hey, she's retarded. She ain't retarded, she's shy, you know? Take her to the zoo. I hear retards like the zoo. I'm going to the zoo. Buddy's in a bad mood. <laughs> 50 bucks. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time. Yeah? Thanks. Oh, that's nice. That Little bookers. Take her to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was a comedy. <laughs> hey, the Bobby Judge, he's a good boy. No, and I don't feel the heat from that. Exactly what are you looking for, Apollo? Yeah, what are you looking for? This is what I'm looking for. The Italian Stallion. Rudy Balboa? Never heard of him. Look, it's the name, man. The media will eat it up. Apollo Creed meets the Italian Stallion. Sounds like a damn monster movie. Yeah, he knows marketing well, eh? Yeah. Hey. Your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very excited. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Molly, you're late. 
Yo, how you doing? <laughs> oh. I told you she's very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so endearing. You look at me, I'm not ready for this. Hey! Hey! You should always tell the woman she needs time to get ready. Try to be a loose. Don't call me that, Polly. Yeah, don't call her that. You want the bird? No. Who in the alley and eat the bird? Oh, my gosh. Is he for real? I want you out of here. Oh my gosh! Ain't nothing to talk about. She's in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Everyone's in a bad mood. I don't want to go, go, go sweet talk her. He is so cute. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. <laughs> Yo. Listen, uh, I mean, what do I say to a door? Hey, listen. I mean, He's ready. <laughs> yeah, she just needed time to get ready. Jerk. That's cute. That is very cute. Very endearing, those two together. <laughs> so opposite. <laughs> What's your sister like to do? Ice cream. This is not what I thought the story would be. I thought it was just boxing. You! Yo! We're closed. Yeah. So I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Do me a favor. Hey, come on, we're not operating. This girl here ain't feeling well. You know, a doctor says she should go out and exercise once in a while, and ice skating's probably the best thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what do you want from me? You could let her on the ice, I'd appreciate it, only for a few minutes. You have the ice to yourself, 10 bucks. <laughs> Aren't you skating? Uh, I ain't skating since I was 15. You know, that's when I started fighting. See, all I wanted to do out of fight was prove I was no bum that I had the stuff to make a good pro, you know? You never got the chance? Oh, hey, you know, I ain't crying about it because I still fight. I kind of do it like a hop. I'll tell you, you can see I ain't too graceful, you know what I mean? I don't move well. But I'll tell you, I can really swat, you know what I mean? I can really hit hard. My <laughs> father, he says to me, you weren't born much of a brain, you know, so uh, you better start using your body, right? So I've become a fighter. Hmm. Why you, why you left? My mother, she said the opposite thing. What'd she say? What'd she say the opposite? She said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. <laughs> Did she say that? You, time. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. <laughs> hey, yo. Don't fall. Don't fall. That's so endearing. It's great writing. It really is. You know, some people think that being shy is a disease, you know, but it don't bother me none, you know? It don't bother me either. I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think, huh? <laughs> Worst thing about fighting is the morning after. Face is all busted up, your hands are swollen, you know? Look at this face, 64 fights. These guys are hitting my nose all the time. Never broke. I'm very proud of that. Not rare. Why do you do it if it hurts? Why do you think? Money. Because you can't sing a dance. Yeah, something like that. Hey, you want to come inside? No, I got to go. Hey, come <laughs> on. Hey, I got some animals. Come on No, in. no, I got to go. Well, I got to go, too. I got to go to the bathroom. Come on. <laughs> Look at this face. Is that a face you can trust or what? Huh? <laughs> Is it? You got to stick this face on a stamp. What do you think? Yeah, I can trust huh? this face. Come on. First time in a guy's apartment, mm -hmm. probably. And then it's a dump like that. Although, their place looked like a dump, too. Oh my gosh. Yo, Adrian, you hungry? You like uh, soda, some donuts or something? No? Oh, bachelor guy. Hot in here, you know? Ah, uh, show off those music. muscles. These are my friends, Cuff and Link. I sold them to you. Sure, I remember <laughs> that. Yo, why don't you come on over here and sit down? Hmm? Uh, what? 
It's a nice couch. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he needs a woman. Uh, and she needs a man. Is this you? Yeah, that's me when I was eight years old. That's the Italian style when it was a baby. No. Do you have a phone? Who'd you want to call? I want to let my brother know where I am. Why? I think he might be worried. Well, I'll call your brother if that's the problem. <laughs> Yo, Paulie, your sister's with me. I'll call you back later. See ya. <laughs> What's the problem? You don't like me? You don't like the turtles? What's the problem? <laughs> I don't think I belong here. Well, you know, it's okay, because you're my guest. You know? I'm not sure I know you well enough. I don't feel comfortable. But your age, you know, I ain't so comfortable either. <laughs> should go. Don't go, please. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Oof. Don't go. Are you pushing? Yeah. Do me a favor. What? You take off these vests. You get nice eyes. No. Do me another favor. Always knew you was pretty. Don't tease me. I'm not teasing you. I want to kiss you. You don't have to kiss me back if you don't want. I want to kiss you. Would have thought that, eh? I at the beginning. Would never, never have thought. It's it's a fantastic scene. Hey, Rock, how you doing, babe? Right, right. Good. Hey, Mick was looking for you up there, man. For me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he needs to stop smoking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got something for me? Yeah, there was some guy here from Miles Juergens looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. Put me on. There's a car. Who's it here? About an hour ago. They'll probably look for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before, you dumb Jago! You know, I've been coming in for six years, and six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You don't want to know. Yeah, I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how! Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker to some cheap second-rate loan shark. To live in? It's a waste of life. Some tough love. But that's what he needs to hear. He needs to mm -hmm. get his act together. Yeah. Look at all these guys, like, training. He's here smoking. <laughs> yes. May I help you? <clears throat> Mr. Rocky Balboa to see you, sir. Go away, Mr. Balboa. Mr. Balboa. Take a chair, please. Thanks. Mr. Balboa. Well, call me Rocky. It's Rocky. Rocky, I've got a proposition I'd like to make to you. Uh, Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? No. Listen, Rocky. Apollo's seen you fight. He likes you. You're this guy, he's the best, and uh, it wouldn't be such a good fight. But th thank you very much, you know. I... Rocky, do you believe that America is the land of opportunity? Yeah. Apollo Creed does. And he's going to prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. And that unknown is you. He picked you, Rocky. It's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. Mm. What a proposition. We want to ask Apollo a few questions. Why did you agree to fight a man who has virtually no chance of winning? Look, American history proves that everybody's got a chance to win. Didn't you guys ever hear of Valley Forge or Bunker Hill? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Rocky, how do you expect to fight Apollo Creed? Uh, well, 
Jeez, you know, Creed's the best. Uh, I guess I'll have to do the best I can. Uh, Rocky, now your payday mm. will be $150,000. Any mm. comment? Uh, you, no. you got no comment, Rocky, right? No. No comment. Right. Dang, Thank that's... you, Rocky, oh, very wait, much. Wait, I just want to say hi to my girlfriend, okay? Uh, yeah. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Look at this. You believe me? Oh. 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 That was so cute. Thank you, Rocky. You you push it, man. Well, Wouldn't matter, he's making you out a fool. You're taking cheap shots. Don't bother me, none. No, Rock. I guess you'd be looking for people to help you out. I just think I'm going to train myself, you know? You've got such good people around to help. You don't have such a good chance. I think Rocky's got a good chance. Aww. Supporting her man. Or at least somebody believes in him. You want me to get you a beer, Polly? Hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking life! What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, didn't have any beer. He's jealous. That's what it is. You think so? Yes. That he's getting to fight? Yeah, well, he, now he has a girl. He gets 150,000 bucks. People talk about him. He's, he is a loser. You know, I said that stuff on TV didn't bother me none. Yeah? Did. Mm. He's so, um, he has a sensitive side. I love it. I want to know if you got any money for training expenses, huh? I got a few dollars. Ooh. Put this in your glove. Hey, what What's this? 500 bucks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, thanks for the money, Tony. Huh? That's great. It's okay, don't worry about it. You're in training, huh? Yes. Oh, yes. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Eat right, exercise right, and stop smoking. Oh, is this the coach? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, it's a nice place here. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Said, what happened to you is freak luck. Yeah, freak luck. You get a shot at the title. Can I sit down? Yeah, sure. Uh, but you gotta be very careful about this shot that you got at the title. Because you ain't gonna get a second chance. Yeah. All right. You, you thought of that, huh? Well, what you need is a manager. A manager, listen to me. Oh, you. Mm. You know what I've done? Well, I have done it all. You gotta do better than that, oh, man. That is lame. Ah, Rocky Marciano. Rocky sees right through you know, it. You kind of remind me of the rock, do you know that? You really think so? And you got heart like he did. Yeah, I got heart, but I ain't got no locker, do I, Mick? So. I tell you what I looked like when I was uh, in my prime. No, you gotta get to the point. That's yeah, what you need to do. And you need to stop That's trying to sell so hard. I never had no management. That's the trouble. But now I got all this knowledge. I got it up here, and I, I want to give it to you. The fight's set. Hey, listen to me. I want to be your manager. You follow that, do you? The fight's set. I don't need no manager. Now, listen, kid. Hey, look. Hey, Mick. What? Look, I need your help about ten years ago, right? Ten years ago. You never helped me, though. You didn't care. Mm. Well, if you wanted help, if you wanted help, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you just ask me, kid? Look, I asked, but you never heard nothing. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Ten years ago, to my house. My old stink. I didn't have no baby from you. What about my pride, Mick? At least you had a pride. I want to get that. You want to help me out? Legs ain't working. Nothing's working. They go, go on, fight the chair. Yeah, I'll fight him. Come on in. It's my house. You want to help me out? Well, help me out. You got it all out. I think he realized that he could need help. And now he got it all out. Great writing again, I have to say. Yeah, Fantastic how they just resolved that right now. 4 a.m. 
I guess it's training starts now. <laughs> taking it a little bit more serious now. Ugh, don't tell me he's just gonna drink the egg. That's a lot of eggs. Yeah, that was what, four or five? <sighs> oh, gross! Gross! <laughs> ah! Like what? Ah! No! Why? Yeah, save time, you know. Mm -mm. <laughs> eggs are fast. I can cook eggs in five minutes. Yeah, five minutes more on him. Oh, oh that's so gross. He needs like some real running shoes. Yeah. So where's his coach, Mickey? Or is he just doing it by himself? Yeah, probably later when it comes to technique and stuff. Ah! Mm -hmm. Those are the famous steps. I've been on that. Yeah. He is not in good shape. <laughs> no. Shouldn't have been smoking. See What's the attraction? Fills gaps, I guess. What's gaps? I don't know, gaps. She's got gaps, I got gaps. Together we fill gaps. I don't know. Hmm. You balling her? Hey, you don't talk dirty about your sister. Mm. You know, you just talk too much. It's getting cold in here. I think I'm going home. Cold in here? It's cold in here! Stick to your head, you stink! <laughs> You're breaking the ribs. <clears throat> we do that to Apollo Creed, they'll put us in jail for murder. I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? I turn the heat on. Thanks. Hey, hey, come on, no fooling around, all right? <laughs> There's no fooling around during training, you understand? I want to stay strong. <laughs> Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Hold it, Rock! What are you doing? You're off balance. Let's try this. I take this string tight to both angles, leave about two feet of slack. Now you're off balance, out Marcian. Had the same problem. And this string cured it. It's the idea that if you can move and you can hit without breaking the string, you can balance, you become a very dangerous place. You follow okay. me. We're looking good, Rock. Thanks. Let's go. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. I don't need you. Rock. What? How about you give us your order? Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. Move your little chicken ass. Dang, no you, joke. You lay off that pet shop, Dave. Women weaken legs. Women weaken legs, huh? Yo, Rock. Yo, Rocky. They all know him. Yo, Rocky. Yo. Yo. Oh, cute. Yo, you look great. Yeah. You walk down the street breaking hearts the way you're looking. Very sharp. I got, I got another surprise for you. What? My kiss. Hey, give me a kiss. Oh, give it a kiss. Oh, the doggy. To keep you company when you run. Oh, 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 What's that, Burgess, huh? You got need exposure. Oh, come on, don't breathe on me, Paul. Huh? I'm hey. doing you a favor. You ain't doing me no favors. You're embarrassing me in front of everybody. You can make me look bad in front of your sister. Your hmm. sister really likes you. <laughs> Rocky Balboa, listen, we want to get a brief interview in with you. It won't take long. What about me? What about you? Charge of the lead. Uh, fine, would you stand behind it, please? Listen, just settle yourself down, just relax. What we're going to do is just ask you a few questions. These Rocky, people are so honest. Your unique training method. Talk to the folks at home. They really want to know, you know, how you got into this. I mean, this isn't an everyday thing. Just don't take no cheap shots, you know? No, I won't do that. Just relax, Rocky. Today, we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. Is this a common training method? I mean, do other fighters pound raw meat? 
No, I think I invented it. Would you Don't give us a demonstration? Confirm the reservation <laughs> for our people at ringside. Hey, champ. You ought to come look at this boy you're going to fight on TV. Looks like he means business. Yeah, yeah, I mean business too. I mean business. <laughs> What a great visual. Diana Lewis in the Meat House with South Paul Rocky Balboa. <laughs> South Paul. Paul he keeps asking me for a job all the time, but he don't know nothing about fight. I just don't know what he wants from me. Look, I don't want nothing from you. This ain't no charity case. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. Both of you get out of my house. Yo, it's cold outside, Polly. I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this this guy is unhinged. Now you're a big shot fighter on the way up. You don't even throw a crumb to your friend Polly. When I go and get your meat every morning. Jealous. Oh, you're right. You owe me. What do I owe you? You're supposed to be good to me. What do I owe you, Polly? I take care of you, Polly. I don't owe you nothing. And you made me feel like a loser! I'm not a loser! Get on the page! Get on the page! She's dusty! Oh, you know, wow, she came out of her shell too there, huh? You want a roommate? Absolutely. <laughs> Gee, now when you walk into the ring, you'll be ready, won't you? Why? Because I waited for 50 years to make you rich. You're going to become a very dangerous place. Take a shower, will you? <laughs> okay, Good Nick, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. We got a winner here. We got a chance. Hey, Rob. It's okay I talk to you? Sure. I figured some angle to make some money off your name. My name? How's that? Advertise. I know about that stuff. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? Hey, wanna help me out with these? So now they're friends again? Yeah. That's how we do it. Guys man. just become friends. They have a big fight. Ah, attack, you did this, and then everybody's, what's up? Just like nothing happened. Yeah. So confusing to me. He showed up. And that was already a sign that he knows he did act stupid the last night, but you know, it doesn't have to be spoken necessarily. He didn't even apologize. No, he didn't. And now they're cool. Yeah. Man, men are and different. Rock even lets him use his name to make money. Yeah. <laughs> Man, women hold on to grudges. <laughs> Dang. That's not easy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ooh! It's nice how it slowly builds, you know, from a bum to an athlete. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Rocky. Dang! Oh! Back on the thing! Oh, that's fun. Now he can do it, no problem. Big improvement. Wow. Good job, Rocky. He starts to believe in himself. Oh, yeah. Oh. He looks quite happy. He looks like he's like on a commercial. The whole thing is a commercial for him. <laughs> right? <laughs> Marketing boy. It feels overwhelmed. Yeah, this is real deal. Like, no longer in those like small boxing clubs. Yeah. This is a stadium. Look at the his poster though. His looks more like a fighter than that. Mm -hmm. This looks nice, like commercial. His looks like I'm gonna get you. Whew, she's got nervous for him. 
it's like that inevitable feeling mm -hmm. it's no going back it's gonna happen tomorrow it's like you're screaming i know i know that's why i got so nervous oh the, the character establishment throughout this film is excellent that's yeah. why we care so much about him i didn't know he was going to be such a sensitive soul yeah full of self-doubt mm -hmm. fear Oh. What? I can't be him. Apollo? Yeah. Oh. I mean, who am I kidding? I ain't even in the guy's league. What are we gonna do? Definitely know that feeling. I don't know. Yeah, it don't matter. Because I was nobody before. Don't say that. Come on, Adrian, it's true. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. Because all I want to do is go to distance. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Creed. And if I can go that distance, I'm going to know for the first time in my life, you see, that I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. Yes, I love that. That's what the movie's really all about self-worth yeah proving that you you're something that you mean you're worthy of being here you know yeah. i think that he can pull it off oh and that he's praying time kid let's go wish me luck i'm gonna need it Good luck. Hey, Adrian, you don't think this robe here is too baggy, huh? <laughs> Good luck. Don't leave town. <laughs> hey, what the hell is that? I'm doing it for a friend. Well, what do you get out of it? Paulie gets three grand, I get the rope. Shrewd. I noticed a buzzing in the background now, Bill. We love you, Rocky. Hey, thanks for showing up. The whole mm -hmm. town is probably out here. Local support. Yeah. No. Rocky Balboa climbing into the ring now. Stallion, Stallion. There's a lot of noise coming from the background. You can go deaf with that noise. <laughs> so this fanfare. Yeah, George Washington, I guess. Yeah. And George Washington. Yep. Here is the world heavyweight champion, Apollo Creed. <laughs> Look at this ridiculousness. He looks like a big flag. <laughs> Is he talking to me? He's talking to you. He's just so cool, um, Rocky. Ladies and gentlemen, Philadelphia's favorite shot, Rocky Balboa. Watch your heads, no button. Shake hands now. Come on, fight. Come on, put your hands up there, Chuck. Come, come on, on, fight. Come on, come on. I've never seen a fighter that concerned about his hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hair is a thing, okay? It's a thing. The fighters come out, come into the sun. Hands up there, left handed jabs, right to the head. Bang. The champ is stinging the slower challenger of jabs at will. In fact, it just looks like Rocky is blocking the blows with his face. Because we're doing and make a show of it. How about hands up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, his hands are like here. Oh, I, I don't believe it! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> See, instant karma. He was clowning and then he got punched. What a surprise. How many seconds do they have? Eight? Ten. Ten? This is the first time the champion has ever been knocked down. Seven. Wow. Yeah. Now he knows it's serious. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the rib. Let's go to work right now, Rock. Now it really starts. Now Rocky coming back out, and he's like a bull in a china box. Champion's coming back. He's coming off the floor now, and he's trying to put him with the hard left, the right, another left, another right. Combinations into the face. Brutal. Uh, he's taunting him. The champ is taunting Rocky to come out in some more. He's coming. Don't worry about it. Another left. <laughs> oh, 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 he's oh, he's oh, 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 o
Um, how many minutes do they have in the round? Three minutes. Uh, leading them back over oh. to his corner. Rocky can hardly find his way. He remembers the mouth. He's sitting down. Uh, Your nose is broke. How's it look? Oh. And it's an improvement. First time he broke his nose. Stick and move. Go for the ribs. He doesn't know it's a damn show. He thinks it's a damn fight. See? Smart coach. Mm -hmm. He, You think it's a show, he thinks it's a fight. Body. Body. Yeah, yeah, stop messing around. He he it oh, and he's working now. Oh, that shot left. Again, a hard right. His head bouncing up against the ring wall. This is nerve wracking. Battle like a punching bag. What's keeping him up? And he says he wants more. He wants more. Television around the world, you're watching a battle. I tell you that. Oh, boy. Trying to fight him back. Oh, he's oh. trying to tell. Oh. Oh. Trying to get him. Okay. The okay. They're ready to keep going. <laughs> Wait, what, didn't they ring the bell? Yes, they did. Hey, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, so let's see if he gets him. They just breezed by round three. Well, you can't see all 15 minutes. Yeah, but he said Creed 3. I think we should have seen that. Oh, there's 15? Yeah. Rounds? Holy. Nowadays, it's 12. It's a good way how they do it. Yeah. That you, you know, get a sense of the fight. Wow. Dang! Down on one knee! Wiping off the gloves. Hard left and right. His eyes closed. What is keeping him up, Bill? I don't know. Why he's the fastest? Yeah. Oh. Stay down. Follow dancing around with his arms in the air. Why is his coach telling him to stay down? Probably wait until it's five or six before you get up. Squeeze out a few seconds of rest. Five, six, seven. He can't believe that eight, he got up. Nine. Apollo <laughs> can't believe it. What a tough man. Chapman got a left to the ribs, his he right ribs. Oh, oh, this has been a tremendous... Oh, how many more rounds? Oh. I can't see nothing. Got to open my eye. Oh. Come here, man. You don't want to do it. Oh, come here. Come here. Ooh. Uh, oh. Please. What is that? He cut his... He cut his eye? Lit, yeah. Because he was swollen so much, filled with blood. Oh, the last round. Yeah. They look like they've been in a war, these two. Oh, boy. Oh, the champion really tagged him. Bottle clearly protecting his right side, his ribs. It. Ain't gonna be no rematch. Ain't gonna be no rematch. The wall one. <laughs> no rematch. Yeah, he's tougher than you thought. Rocky, you went the distance. You went the 15 rounds. How do you feel? Right. Hey, what do you think about when the 15th round when you're coming out? Hey, you what about Rocky! Oh my gosh. Wow, that... that that is not at all what I thought this would be. <laughs> that was fantastic.
Wow. Oh it, my gosh. It did not disappoint at all. I can see this. It won um, Best Picture. It did? Back then, yeah. Oh, really? I can see why. It's, oh my god. The writing is excellent. And, I mean, Stallone, he is a good actor. I know people sometimes say, oh, Stallone, action star, whatever. This dude can act. I mean, I mean, right? Look at it. I mean, this was, this was a fantastic story. I thought it was just going to be I boxing, yeah, yeah, I expected a lot more boxing. boxing. I thought it was going to be like super violent, to yeah. be honest. Like a lot of boxing. And I feel like the boxing was only real. I mean, yeah, the training and stuff, but the boxing was only that last, even less than a third of the story. It was more about him, his identity, his relationship. Yeah. Like, that's why a lot of I people say that. Rocky is not really a boxing film, it's a love story. They're correct. They said that? I have no, yeah. I've never heard that, that. I heard that people say many times and it, it's true. It's it's a love story, but to me, it's 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 about, um, what did I say? Self... Self-worth. Uh, Self-worth, exactly. When he was sitting Absolutely. on the bed and said, I just... I just want to go tw uh, 15 rounds. I just want to go the distance. Oh, That's right. what he said. He did. Yes, he indeed. went the distance. I loved yeah. when he, the, the thing he was thinking when he was calling his woman. I loved. Yeah. He didn't even I care about that. because they announced the points, you know, who won and yeah. Apollo Creed won by points. He's still the we, He didn't care about that at all. We saw it in the background, yeah. you know, but he needed to prove to himself that he could go toe to toe with this man. And he did. Yeah. I that was powerful. And nobody else did ever. No one else did. Yeah, so he he achieved his self worth and and all that stuff. It's fantastic. Now he knows he's good enough. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Because that's something that like, you know, I struggle with a lot as an actor. Yeah. You know, the are you good enough? Are yeah. you you know? It's really, I love that. It's it. Oh man, I can't wait to see the second one. I oh mean, yeah. I don't unless look. it's you know unless. <laughs> yeah. but, it's always a sequel is always not dangerous good, but, but gonna... from what people say it's 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 all it's all good it's you know? good so well we're gonna we're on the journey so be yeah. sure to tune in with us we're gonna i guess we're gonna watch rocky too yep thank you so much for being here and we will see you with the next one right yes yeah, the all next right. one all right you guys take care bye-bye